This pit is a jail. All who live here are prisoners. And I am here to slam the cell door shut. Destroy the traitor Toa! Welcome to the Pit Runner. My name is Hydraxon. You have the right to remain jailed. You could probably break out of here, Runner. If you really wanted to. Let me show you why you don't want to. This is Maxilos. Being completely mechanical, he is the perfect guard, for he cannot be bribed or deceived. His reflexes are faster than any living being. Watch. The pet is Spinax. Once it has your scent, it will follow you to the edge of the universe and beyond for however many centuries it takes. So I suggest you make yourself comfortable, Runner. You're going to be here a long time. The scouting mission is done. It is time for the hunt. Far enough, Runner. Drop the mask and surrender. You're right, Draxon! Back when the earthquake hit and we all escaped into the black water, Tonkadox killed you! I'm sorry! You're dead! I got better. And you're going back where you belong. But where we were isn't there anymore. Don't you remember? The ground shaking, the walls falling, the water flooding in? Wrong, Nocturne. I have no doubts, no fears, no frightening recollections. All that matters is my job! <laughs> Next time it's your arm. <laughs> I'm using my arm right now! Sorry! But thanks for all the weapons! I'll take them off your body when you're dead again! Start with this one. I'm here to bring you back. It really makes no difference to me if some of your parts don't make the trip. That mask... I remember it somehow. It's powerful. Too powerful to be floating down here. I can see it's already cracked. Destroying itself. I guess I'll help it on its way! Back off! Keep away from that mask. Uh, uh. The mask of life is mine now. And it will stay mine. Uh. Tell Pridak and the others to meet me at the Razor Whale's teeth in one day, unarmed, no armies, where I will dictate my terms. Any tricks and the mask will be destroyed. I don't make deals with runners. You want to shatter that headgear? Go right ahead. I need that mask. The universe needs it. Try anything and I will personally show you the meaning of dead in the water. Now see what your interference has caused. A few seconds more and that mask would have been dust. Instead, it's in the hands of the Baraki. A few seconds more and we all would have been dust. And who in blazes are you anyway? Who I am is my business. Staying out of my way is yours. I wondered where you had disappeared to. Come on, we have a runner to catch. Turn back. There are two dozen escape prisoners two Kyo to the east of our position that must be recaptured. Two dozen? That will make for a busy day. But none of them have a glowing mask of power, I'll bet. And this runner does. Keep an eye on that mob and I will join you when I've caught my prey. <laughs> I asked you nicely to turn back. I never asked twice. 
Though, if you insist on being destroyed, who am I to say no? You're... not... Maxilos. And you're not Hydraxon. You only think you are. The real Hydraxon is dead, slain by Tachydox and buried in the rubble of the original pit. You're a copy, just some wandering Matorum the Mask of Life decided to have some sport with. You're not even worth the time it's taking to demolish you. Marissa! <laughs> Spinax worked with Maxilus, but he belongs to me. He won't stop attacking until you're down for good. And don't bother running. There's nowhere he can't find you. Run! A Makuta does not run. Away from me, you miserable creature! A Makuta? I will strike without mercy. Consider yourself deactivated! I believe that mask belongs to me. Stupid runner. I'll just go over or around it. No, you won't. I wouldn't. That mask comes with me. You want this? Take it. Go ahead. Then the fate of the universe can be on your head instead of mine. I never asked to be the one everything depends upon. What are you talking about? Use your eyes. Look around. Strange sea creatures appearing out of nowhere. An entire city of Matoran abandoned. The Baraki and their armies running wild. Is that normal? And it's probably worse in places like Mejunui. My home. The end is coming, Hydraxon. Even as we stand here talking. And everything that lives can sense it. And now, everything comes down to one mask and one Toa. Me. And maybe... I'm just not up to being a hero. So you take it. You save the universe. Maybe I have seen a few strange things. But that's a pretty powerful mask. What are you planning to do with it? When I find out, I'll let you know. So do we have to fight Hydraxon? Or will you let us pass? I have runners to catch. You can keep your toy for now. But stay out of my way in the future, understand? Somehow, I don't think that will be a problem. Who are you? Why have you come here? We are... But you already know, don't you? Does the sun know its light? You have come here to find arms and armor for your fight. I tell you that the weapon you need cannot be found here. That must be sought out in the world that feeds the world. Are we here to play games? Your name is spoken with respect in a thousand places, Artaka. I begin to wonder if those who honor you have been deceived. <laughs> you amuse a being who was already weary of life when you first set foot on solid ground. And there is iron behind your icy facade. That is good. You were made far better than anyone knew. I see what you have accomplished in preparation for your arrival. You have done all that has been asked of you, and more. You have earned these masks and armor. Wear them well. For they are perhaps my greatest creation. Wherever you journey, they will adapt to your surroundings. No terrain, no climate, no wind or wave will ever again be your master. Now you must leave here. The time has come at last for the great spirit Martinui to awaken. And you must be the ones to bring him back to those who need him. Wait, let us see you. Come with us. Your aid would be welcome, Artaka. No. 
where you travel, you must travel alone. Go, Tornova. Go and find your destiny at last. As much as I'd rather see you run away, runner, the higher-ups insist you're needed elsewhere, apparently due to your ties with the Brotherhood of Makuta. <laughs> this is it, then. The others must have overrid Makuta's shame in the tablet of transect. I'm free! Far from it, Takadox. Come. We have a federation to attend. 